Revisiting one of your headline-making stories regarding the Express Pearl Vessel, News First Ravindu Jayakodi is standing by at the Sarakua Beach in Nigambu to report on the damage caused to the coast of Sri Lanka due to the fire that erupted on the Express Pearl Vessel. We are currently in the Sarakua Beach in the Pamunugama area where many of the debris from the Express Pearl ship have washed the shore. Now, uh, speaking today morning, the chairman of the Port Authority, General Daya Ratnayaka, confirmed that the fire on board the ship has been fully contained and the authorities there are now trying to pump the water to the front portion of the ship uh, so that they can get on board the ship and assess the real situation. While the operations there are going in that manner, here in the beach, the operations are still, the efforts are still continuing to clean away these debris of these beaches. Now, to know uh, in-depth analysis of this situation and the impact that has created uh, from this disaster, we are joining with Dr. Palita Kitsiri, the Director General of the Nara Institute. Doctor, what sort of an impact has this disaster caused to the marine life, to this ecosystem? No, actually, uh, uh, it was recorded that there are many uh, chemical components as well as uh, organic compounds uh, in the ship. I, uh, I think uh, last two, three days period, uh, they were discharged, mainly the uh, uh, nitric acid or al uh, still alcohol and also the cosmetic uh, related uh, chemicals as well as the uh, organic compounds uh, like uh, plastic pebbles, low density poly poly polyethylene. Uh, they were discharged into the uh, sea and then ultimately they came into the show now. Then the, the, this is a very serious issue. This, uh, this is not uh, degradable for a la uh, 25, 30 pe uh, year period. This, this uh, plastic pebbles remain at, at it is for a period of long time. Then that is uh, uh, very much effect to the uh, that uh, natural environment then uh, as soon as possible we have to remove all these plastic pebbles and make the beach clean otherwise there is a serious issue in addition to that actually uh, nara has been given a task to uh, prepare a damage assessment report and nara has been given uh, to assess the biological damage to the environment then at present uh, i have uh, that identify and uh, uh, that release uh, two groups of scientists to carry out the study from uh, Kalambu to uh, Chilau and also uh, Kalambu to Panadura area. At, at present, they are collecting the uh, relevant samples as well as the other uh, bio samples uh, in those areas. In addition to that, due to the uh, bad weather conditions, we cannot go into the sea now. Once the sea uh, uh, conditions improve, we are planning to go into the sea and collect necessary uh, uh, samples, uh, fauna and flora samples, and also the we have to see the what happened to the coral reef also. We are planning to scientifically assess all the things and uh, planning to prepare a a uh, very uh, the comprehensive report on the uh, that uh, uh, damage to the biological environment. Doctor, is there any sort of uh, oil leakage from this vessel? At present, uh, as far as I know, there is no oil, oil leakage. There is no oil leakage at present. Uh, we have to make arrangements to actually uh, not to release this oil to the natural environment. Uh, environment. At present, uh, there is no oil leakage. So uh, that's the update we have from the Sarakua beach in Pamunugama. For the News First team, I'm Ravindu Jayakodi.